Hi, I'm John Vasco with Connected, AICHE, and we're here at the student poster session at uh, the annual meeting 2011 in I'm here with Ellison Candler from Brown University. Um, Very nice to meet you too. And he's here to tell us a little bit about his poster NMR diffusion of bionic liquids. Hi, so uh, my summer research at Hunter College, uh, we studied NMR, we studied uh, mass transport of ionic liquids. These ionic liquids are of big importance because they're being considered as a possible electrolyte for batteries. They obviously have uh, high ionic conductivities, but uh, importantly, they have very low volatility, which makes them a, a very safe electrolyte, especially for large scale application in a, in a car battery, for example. Uh, we use two different NMR techniques to study the diffusion on the uh, hydrogen nucleus. The first one, the inversion recovery method, measures the spin lattice relaxation time, which is uh, a, it's an indicator of its rotational movement, but more importantly, we use the pulse gradient spin echo technique to, to measure the diffusion coefficients. Um, if you take a look at the results here, which are plotted on an Arrhenius plot, you can see that we studied two samples. The first sample is a completely protonated sample, while uh, sample B has slight uh, deuteron specification in the sample. As you can see, there's a positive relationship between uh, the diffusion coefficient and the temperature both have positive activation energies and as you can see uh, the peaks here represent different protons in the sample. In this sample you only have three uh, which means that uh, at that site where that fourth one should be you have a deuteron which wasn't picked up because NMR is nuclei specific. As you can see from the results here, sample A, which again was the pro completely protonated sample, had lower T1 values, but uh, higher diffusion coefficients along the temperature range, both of which are indicators that uh, this, this sample was a more diffusive sample. You want to make your electrolyte as diffusive as possible in order to increase the efficiency of your battery, as well as to uh, be able to draw more current from your battery. And it's just important to stress that this is an ongoing this is ongoing research at Hunter College. Uh, at the current point in the uh, research lab, they're studying the deuterium and fluorine uh, nuclei. And important is uh, we eventually hope to get to high pressure NMR experiments to see the pressure effects. And I'd just like to say that Hunter College is one of the only colleges in America where high pressure NMR experiments take place. Yeah. Excellent. Well, it sounds like you have your, you've done a lot of work and also have your set out. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Great to meet you. Great to meet you, too. Thank you.